In this video for the SQL Fundamental Series, we're looking at Select From. So you need to have your Oracle account and access to the HR schema. You also need the Student Teams database installed, which all of that's been covered in previous videos. So let's start with Select From. So we, just as a reminder, we have the Student Teams database, which has information about the students that are on Teams. And the, the uh, students will evaluate their team members. And uh, each evaluation can be for a number of evaluation items, and each item is scored. We also have the Human Resources HR database provided by Oracle. And this contains information about employees, the departments they work in, where those departments are located, and what job an employee has or has had. So the Select From is going to provide us a variety of ways to retrieve data from the database. A simple select statement has the format of select, and you can specify column names, putting commas between the column names, and followed by a From clause where you list the table or tables eventually when we work with more than one. But this is a simple select statement. Uh, in this syntax, the angle brackets indicate words that would change depending on what column names you want and what tables you want. I would recommend that as you create the SQL commands that you write them or at least copy them over into Notepad so you have an ongoing record of a series of commands. So we're going to query the student team database. and. Uh, I'm going to, in most cases, I'll copy-paste in the command. I won't be typing it from scratch unless it's a particularly uh, short command. So in SQL Developer, we have our connections. I'm going to double-click and open the connection to Teams, and I have my SQL worksheet. So I will go ahead and type in the, the uh, command because it is short. And I will look at uh, information about Teams. And what I've entered first is a comment. And that's uh, in, uh, bracketed by forward slash asterisk, the text, however many rows of text for comment, and then closed by asterisk forward slash. The actual command is select team ID and team underscore name from Teams. and I have a simple select statement, select from. So I can highlight that command and run that command. And we see the results as they are shown also here in the PowerPoint. So let's look at a couple of more uh, commands. We're going to look at student information where we select student ID first name, last name from the students table. So let's do that. And execute that. I'm specifying specific columns and what table to pull the data from. In the next example, we're going to use the asterisk or the wildcard. When I use select asterisk, I'm saying show me all the columns in a particular table. So let's try that in a SQL Plus, or excuse me, SQL Developer. And so I'm seeing all the columns in that table by using the asterisk. I don't have to list every individual column. I now want to work with the Human Resources HR data. And so to start with, I'm going to connect to the HR schema and I'm going to grant the right to everybody else in the database to be able to see that data. And then I will look at some of the data in that, uh, in that schema. So switching back over to SQL Developer, I'm going to double click and open up the HR connection. And I'm going to grant the right to see all the data in the employees table. 
So it's grant select on whatever the table name is to public if you want to grant the right to view data to everybody in the database. So with this I'm going to execute and now anybody could look at the data. They can't modify it. They can't add data to the employee table, but they can see the data in the employee's table. So I'm going to go ahead and copy in the rest of the grant statements and I can do the script mode and run all the commands at one time. And we see that those have uh, succeeded. Now what I want to do is while I'm connected in the HR account, I'm going to run the command to view data from the department's table. Select department underscore ID, comma, department underscore name from departments. And I can run that command. And I see the results. Now to show you the impact of the grants statements I ran a few seconds ago, I'm going to now switch over from my HR connection to my Teams connection. And, you know, I, if I had thought about it, I should have tried to, con to view that data from this account first before running those grants. And you would have seen that the database would tell me that the, the table doesn't exist. But now that I've granted access to the uh, HR tables, I can run a command in another account. But if I do that, I need to specify the actual schema name. So that's the difference here. If I'm over in HR, I said from departments when I said what table to use. If I'm in the Teams account, but I want to look at something from HR, I have to put the HR in front of the table name. So this would be a, a fully qualified table name. So now I can run this command. And I'm going to see uh, the same data because I'm looking at data from the same table, the HR department's table. So a few more things to do here. Uh, we're going to look at how to count rows in a table. So how many students are there? I don't need to know the individual students. I just want to count them. So I'm going to do select count in parentheses, an asterisk, and from students. And this will give me a count. And I will also do a count on employees. Doing both of these from the team connection so that I uh, have to specify HR for the employee table. So I'm in the team connection and I can do select count from students. And you don't have to hit return here. Uh, I typically do. I put my select clause in one or more rows and then I put my from clause in a separate row. So when I run this, it tells me I have 15 students. Now if I want to see how many rows of data I have in the HR uh, employees table, then I specify HR and I can run that command. And we see the 107. So that's the same thing that we see from these screenshots. So what we've done here is we've looked at a simple select from, select some columns from some table. We've looked at select asterisk from, which will give us all columns in a particular table. We've also looked at select count, select count asterisk, because this will give us a count of how many rows there are in a particular table. And we've looked at how to specify a schema and a table name.